back to the platform of Lectures 360. So we are here again. We are launching another uh, series or playlist on our channel, and that's called Current Affairs section. And in this section, we I'll be sharing my collection of current affairs books that I have compiled for quite some time. And those books are, I think, the must-have books that everyone should have in their bookshelf. And let's get started. So here are a few bunch of books that I have already kept aside. So starting from this section, it's about climate change, and this book is also about climate change and environmental conservation. Then we have this great book. I have read this book and a few chapters on it as well. It's really a good compilation of CNN's journalist law dobs. Then I have this classic collection, The Prince of Machiavelli and the Communist Manifesto about the AI superpowers. I have this collection and it's really amazing. I can assure you that. Oh my god. So it's actually not a current fair book, but I don't know how come it is there in my dissection. So just switch to something. Okay. So it is actually a self-help book. But it has, again, come up in this collection. I don't know how. But these two books are quite amazing, no doubt. And we have Noam Chomsky. Current Affairs without Noam Chomsky, I think, is incomplete. And then we have this book. Uh, it's actually the gene business, how the gene and biotechnology is influencing our industry and our social life. Again, Noam Chomsky, that's a very good comp compilation by him and there's no more collusion can you recall the sprays so starting back to some another another compilation let's switch on towards the middle east in a globalized world we have this book we have this book this is my personal favorite it's all about soft powers and soft communication skills and this book is also a good combination but it's quite an old version edition uh, the two countries have to secure the border. And this Pakistan is also my personal favorite. Border, and this as well. Have to help Pakistan in that regard. Also, the Pakistan Defense Force has been able to secure the border. Moving on towards another section. Uh, this book is all about education, is all about how the world is changing. Uh, the two countries have to secure the border. And uh, this is also my personal favorite. The border, the Iranians, and this as well. Uh, have to help Pakistan in that regard. Hopefully this will not be necessary. Any maneuvers... And moving on towards another section. This book is all about education, is all about how the world is changing during COVID. It's about COVID-19 global pandemic and how human development and education has been influenced by it. This is again a very good compilation. This book is again the best one in security analysis and nuclear deterrence. Deterrence, sorry. Fighting demons is also a good combination. Compilation. Then we have this. Then we have this as well. These two books I have. Okay, so the title and authors are different. This is a good one for those who want to excel on how to gain skills for official correspondence and writing. And the same as this one. Let me show. Okay, so here is a look of my other books are lying in my shelf so the power of geography is my first personal favorite tim marshall is known as the father in in, in this realm i have it's another sequel as well prisoner of geography then we have this book isis then personal mba and this book why nations fail is one of the must book that you must have in your shelf the confessions of an hitman the Narrow Corridor, and this book, and Harika Sanjur's Cog, a piece of writing on diplomacy. Then we have on Palestine, and then there we have Arundhati Roy's book, Sapien's book, 
by No Harari, 2020 World Order, World of War. And then the lessons for a post pandemic world for Zagarias, the infinite game. And then we have Fire and Fury. We have this power book that is having the 48 laws about it. Let me show you. That's also called the father book figure. And then we have Noam Chomsky's collection. And then we have Bill Gates' collection. And again, we have on environment, the new climate war. And then another collection. And in the end, we have Peter Falk Falk uh, Franco Pons, the new Silk Road. So hope you liked it. So you must get an idea. You must have got an idea which books you need to have in your shelf. But in detail, we'll see you next in the next series.